Wow, that was powerful. Wow. My name's Melody Stephenson. I was scared and desperate when I got pregnant. So I agreed with family and friends. And we thought abortion was the only choice. I was convinced my life would be changed forever if I had this baby. And at this point, I convinced myself that it was only a clump of tissue. I didn't know about fetal development at that age. And I didn't know until much later that my parents knew and I had other options and were looking for a maternity home for me. About a month after my abortion, I found myself very depressed. I slept way too much. I drank too much. I did drugs, LSD, anything to take me away from reality. I had sexual encounters again. I didn't care about my body, just to feel some sort of connection. After I went on a low dose birth control pill and I found myself pregnant again, I told the father and he said the choice was mine to make. What I understood was that he didn't care or want this baby. So I drank more and I did drugs while I was pregnant until I was three months pregnant and then I went to an abortion mill in the States. I was awake for the whole procedure. I heard the suction and the jar fill up with my baby. And he seen the blood and the body parts. And the nurse said it was just tissue, but I knew the truth. So I drank more than I ever did that night, just to forget what I did. That same year, I got pregnant a third time. This time it was on purpose because I learned that many women later on who had abortions repeat the same cycle. But this one had a different ending. And I married the fodder and I had a baby, but my husband and I got divorced six months later. My son was three years old for my third abortion. I drove myself to the procedure because I didn't want to tell anybody I was gonna climb onto that table again. The abortion was extremely painful this time. I was weak and bleeding and heavily afterward and I had to stay at a friend's house because I didn't drive I couldn't drive myself all the way home. I never told anybody that I had three abortions. How could I? It's awful. With doctors, I wouldn't admit it. I'd say one or two. I could never find the courage to tell the whole truth. I, knew, I know people wonder how I could I have done such terrible thing three times. I can't explain it. When I look back, all I can see is my desperation. Like many women, I relied on abortion as an act of birth control. Is it terrible a truth to admit? So I blocked it and I refused to acknowledge it. Then one day, after years later, I was watching TV and I heard a woman talking about her abortion and she shared her testimony and how she regretted it. I thought I was the only one. I finally knew I wasn't alone. I cried so much that day. I kneeled on the floor, grieved my children, and finally admitted to myself what I did. I asked God to forgive me, and I asked 
my children to forgive me that day. Later, I wrote a song for my three aborted children. It was a love letter to them, filled with regret. And I hope that people who heard it and who also lost children to abortion would identify with this pain. Through my years of searching, I finally found Jesus. He set me free from all the shame and guilt. I also found Rachel's vineyard, and it helped me to find that deep healing I needed. With that healing came a gift from God, the courage to speak out. I wanted to be a voice for my children to reach out to women like me with a message of healing and to expose the lies of abortion. I now know my children had a purpose and have a voice, my voice. I still mourn my unborn children and it pains me to imagine what they experienced as doctors and their diabolical machines tore them apart. I had chosen to use a violent form of birth control and my children paid the price. Today I have three beautiful children and I have eight grandchildren and one on the way again. They are all a gift from God. But I will never forget you, my precious three. And I named them Sharice, Daniel, and Tamara. And for you, I am silent no more. Thank you.